Superman. Superman. Yes, absolutely. Curtis Dixon in the house here. We've talked a lot about hockey over the past uh, several weeks, but the other game in town this time of the year, the Calgary Roughnecks, ready to kick off another season. It's their 15th in the NLL. This year, the team's going to look quite a bit different on the floor. Good news, though. Yeah, star lefty Curtis Superman Dixon, back for sixth season with the Riggers, and uh, joins us for a season preview. Good morning to you, Curtis. Good morning. Of course, this uh, team has gone through a, a huge transition uh, over the past uh, several months here. I'm wondering what camp was like this year with some of the uh, vets and some of the faces we remember from previous years out. How what was camp like? It was good. It was good. It was very competitive. Obviously, we got a, long, a lot of young, uh, fresh faces coming in, you know, battling for spots and uh, a few new guys as well that have been in the league for a couple of years. So it was good. Um, a lot of returning players as well. But like you said, there's a, a few guys that are uh, went on, on their way out the door. So it was, uh, it was intense. And like I said, guys are battling for spots. So it's, uh, we're excited to get going here. Different roles now for, for somebody like yourself with, with Snides out and Adam McBride, Sean Evans and stuff. Do you feel the pressure? Do you think you, you have to step it up a bit? Or is it something natural for your progression after six years? Uh, I think it's going to be more by committee, replacing those guys. Obviously, you know, replacing the, the reigning MVP, 130-point scorer, Sean Evans, is going to well, be, that. you know, if not, uh, you know, pretty tough, if not impossible shoes to fill there. And Andrew, you know, his leadership capabilities, you know, on and off the floor, that's another imp impossible guy to replace. So... Uh, like I said, I think it'll be more by committee this year. Uh, Mikey Carnegie is a, you know, a fantastic replacement as captain there, and our, our leadership group is going to be great. And um, so, you know, like I said, we're excited to get going and, and seeing how things are going to shape up. When you talk about the Calgary Flames and you talk about the Calgary Stampeders, the media, obviously, with, with the, you know, sports like that and the leagues being so huge, we know a lot about camps, and we know when they're starting. NHL seems to start their camp uh, the day after. Uh, what about an NLL camp and then Roughnecks camp? What's that comprised of how many weeks and, and how intense is it? Yeah, we usually start uh, first week of December. We'll get going. We, just start, we only go on the weekends, and uh, we usually split it up. We'll do a camp in Calgary. We'll go and do a camp in Vancouver, a camp in Toronto, uh, just because we have guys from all over, um, you know, Canada. I play on the team, so it you know evens it out and it makes guys you know have to travel a little bit less. Obviously, the guys from Toronto have to fly out here to Calgary every week for games, so it makes it a little easier on them getting to two one out there. So, uh, but it's very it's high intensity. Uh, you know, the first week uh, we you know you have two a days. You know, you'll do practice Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. So, it's uh, it's high intensity, and you know we don't have a lot of time to prepare for the season, so you got to get as many uh, you know practices and, and game game types of scenarios in as possible. So. It is, it is intense, but uh, you know, we're, we're happy it's done with, and we're looking forward to getting the season started. Uh, personally, conditioning, when you put down the stick at the end of the season, what sorts of things you do off-season to, to keep things up to par? Uh, I'm pretty much playing year-round. I was right? out in uh, Peterborough, Ontario, playing summer lacrosse. Uh, we went and played the Man Cup in Victoria this year. That was in September, and then I was playing in the World Championships at the end of September there. So I was uh, playing lacrosse basically all the way up until October. So I, uh, when I was done there, I you know, put the stick away and enjoyed a couple months off there. Uh, took a little break, and I was playing for about 10 months straight. So it was uh, it was nice to have some time off. And but you know, it was two months was enough, and we're you know we're itching to get back out there. Uh, changes uh, you know uh, within the Roughnecks organization with on with on the field, uh, but also changes with the rivals. Uh, the rush has changed and moved to the east. Is that going to change things with the provincial rival moving? I don't think so. We're still going to see those guys you know four or five times a year, including you know playoffs and exhibition, whatever else. So. Uh, they're going to be the same team same as they were team. last year. They didn't have a lot of turnover. Obviously, coming off a championship, you, you know you want to keep the same team intact, and uh, they're going to be a good team again. And we still got that, you know, that better taste in our mouth from you know when they beat us in the Western Final last year. So uh, we're you know we're, we're excited we get a chance you know crack at them right off the bat here. Yeah, and I've been saying time and time again when it comes to the Roughnecks, uh, kind of akin to the Hitmen, in that the ticket price is right for families, and you guys make it a real event. If you've never been to a next game, how would you describe it? It's a lot of fun. You know, you hear that, you know, the fan experience each time you, you talk to someone that's gone to their first game, that's, you know, they kind of get hooked after that. So I think it only takes one time. And uh, they're a lot of fun. Like you said, they're for the whole family. You got the kids out there, all the little, little guys with their shirts off, waving around, and music's playing the whole time. So they're, uh, they're a lot of fun. So we, you know, obviously encourage people to get out there and, and uh, give it a shot and hopefully get hooked like some other people I've talked to. Getting hooked Saturday at 7 o'clock. Yes, not the Edmonton, but the Saskatchewan rush. Against your necks, uh, it's going to be a good one against those Calgary Roughnecks. And we would like to send you to the game. We have a family four-pack of home opener tickets along with a sea of red card for refreshments. Going to keep you well refreshed. Head to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, and scroll down to daily prizing enter. Please tell us you are entering for the Roughnecks tickets. Lots of contests. So hop online, breakfasttelevision.ca, and go get it. No purchase necessary. Full rules at breakfasttelevision.ca.
Best of luck to you, Curtis. Thank you, sir. Curtis, Superman, Dixon, going to be kicking it off on Saturday. Again, that is on the lacrosse pitch. We call it a pitch. I hope we can call it a pitch.